Hello. Welcome to a video about my Mania 2021 plans and a report on what I did for Mania in 2020. Okay, so in 2020 for Stitch Mania, this was what I did. I did 20 different pieces. Um, some were whips and some were new starts. I do the blimey cat method, which means if you, the piece you started on that day, the year before for Mania, if it's not finished yet, then you keep working on it on that day. Blimey cat is the Instagram name for Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarian. Um, so, and I also add a few whips to my Mania lineup every year. So these ones with red dots were whips that I added to my Mania schedule last year. If they have yellow dots on them, you can see that they were a carryover from Mania, a previous Mania, and weren't finished yet. So in 2020, on May 1st, I started with Monster Wonder Whale, which was a new start. And I did finish that in January. So we can take that one off. On May 2nd, I worked on Arcade by Long Dog Samplers and it was a carryover whip from 2019. It was a new start in 2019. It is on 40 count picture this plus conifer it is not finished yet. I'm using Silks For You Silks. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. And it's upside down. This is what it looks like so far. So I'll be working on that again on May 2nd. May third was Sky Blue Street, which was a Mania start in 2019. That is by Soda Stitch. I did mine on 36 count white linen, and I used two strands of thread with the called for DMC. And I did finish that one in December. That one was lots of fun. I have not pressed it, sorry. So we can take that one off. On May 4th, I worked on Patchwork Sampler by Jen Houtman. I started it on 36 count um, linen in 2019 yes um didn't like last year when i pulled it out for mania I realized i didn't like it on that fabric so i restarted it on 22 count hard anger fabric it will look like this when it's finished i'm just using a whole bunch of silks out of my stash, not the ones that are called for. So I restarted it on this 22 count fabric, but I really think I need to, and that was last year for Mania, that was probably the only day I worked on it. I'm going to restart it on 40 count white linen, either 40 count white linen or 46 count white linen. I have both of those in my stash, so this year for Mania, I'll be restarting it again. And that better be the last restart. But at least I know then I'll be happy with it. So that one will stay on because it's not finished yet. The next one on May 5th was this. Um, originally it was a freebie by Little House Needleworks. It's now in a pattern book where they put a whole bunch of their freebies together. And I did mine on no, that's wrong. I did it on 30 count linen, Weeks Dye Works linen, I believe. 
because I wanted it to fit on top of a box. On a half size uh, bobbin box. Um, and I used a Classics Colorworks conversion of colors. It is not the called for DMC. And I did add an extra tree and this row of stars on both sides to make it fit the size of this box better. Otherwise it's as charted. The chart where they put a whole bunch of freebies together in a chart and then released it is called Something Old, Something New by Little House Needleworks. And this is mini hometown game board. If you still have one of the old copies of the freebie chart, it was originally a freebie chart and still is. If you go to a local needlework store that still has them as papers where they will just hand one to you. So we can take that one off. <laughs> Next one, May 6th, is a stitching shelf by Heaven and Earth Designs. And you've heard me say before that I will be working on this on May 6th, probably for the rest of my life. It is a Heaven and Earth Design chart that will look like this when it's finished. And this is where I am so far. So that one will stay on. May 7th is You Are My Sunshine by By The Bay Needle Arts. I did it on 28 count natural light linen with the called for DMC. And I did finish that one. So we can take that one off. Oh, well, part of it wanted to stay. Okay. May 8th was um, Hometown Churchyard. Churchyard Christmas by Praiseworthy Stitches. Mine is on 32 count picture this plus Mirage, which is the called for fabric. And I'm using the called for threads. I believe it's a mixture of Gast, Gentle Arts, and Weeks Dye Works. And I'm using two strands of floss. That one is not finished yet. So it will stay on that day. And my, a lot of times I will assign my Mania pieces a month during the year to work on them where they're kind of the focus piece. And this will continue. Last year, this was January, um, November's focus piece, and this will continue to be November's focus piece. Oh. This is what it will look like when it is finished. And this is where it is right now. That one was not a mania start. It, I started it a different time of year, but last year I added it to my mania lineup. So it will now be a mania piece on that day until it is finished. It's a good way. I always put four or five whips in with my mania lineup every year. I add a few more whips because it's um, motivates me to get them finished when they're on the mania list and I'm trying to get everything on the mania list finished. So that one will stay on here. This one is May 9th and it is Sleeping P Sleeping Princess by Mirabilia. That is what it looks will look like when it is finished. Mine is on 32 count water lily with the called for DMC two strands of floss. This is what mine looks like so far.
so it will stay on May 9th. Almost dropped it. All right, so back over to this side, May 10th was this Mill Hill ornament, gingerbread, I think it's called gingerbread house. It was a Mill Hill ornament kit. And I did finish that. Although when I pulled it out the other day, I realized it comes, it came with a little red heart button that needs to go right there. So I need to sew that on and cut it out and glue some felt to the back with a hanger. But it is finished. Finished that one in December as well. So we can take that one off. May 11th is American Sampler by Sandy Orton. This pattern is available on Cooler Design Studio website, K-O-O-L-E-R. Mine is on 40 count pair with the called for, actually, I don't know if it's 40 count. It is on pair with the called for Avera Soie silks. This is what it will look like when it is finished. one has a lot of specialty stitches in it. And this is what it looks like so far. This was not a Mania Star either. This was one that I, a whip, a work in progress that needed some attention. I think it's just about my oldest work in progress. So I added it last year to the Mania lineup so that it would get some more attention. So that one will stay right here on May 11th until it is finished. The next one is Spring by Cricut, Cross-Eyed Cricut, Cricut Collection. Mine is on 32 count water lily with the called for DMC, two strands. And I didn't iron this one either, but I did finish it in January, I believe. So that one can come off. It was a new start for Mania last year. May 13th is um, Serenity Harbor by By the Bay Needle Arts. Mine is on 40 count Lakeside Vintage Lentil. That was a new start for Mania last year. I don't, oh, here's a picture. This is what it will look like when it is finished. And this is what I have so far. I'm always um, in the mood to work on this one in the summer. I'm very excited to get back to this one. So that one will stay on. The next one on here is Abbasadere Berthe Dupont 1913 by Marie Francois. This is still available to buy from a French website. I'll try and put the link in my description box below. And I did finish it finally. It was not a mania start. It was a whip that I added to my mania lineup 
in 2018, I believe, I was when I added this. Catherine, my daughter Catherine, boss daughter, she stitched most of that border and then I stitched the part on the inside. I did use the called for DMC except that I changed the greens and I changed the browns and I added a third color of yellow for those flowers in that flower basket. They were supposed to be a tan color and I wanted them to be yellow. There will be a list in the description box telling you what colors I used. So that one can come off. The next one, I'm gonna have to go this way. The next one is May I by All Through the Night. Mine is on 18 count black Ada. It called for over dyed cottons, some gentle arts and some weak dye works and some classic color works, I think. I had a couple of them in my stash, but not all of them. So for the rest of them, I just pulled the DMC equivalent that's listed on the pattern and then pulled a color out of my stash that was similar. So that one is finished. So we can take that one off. May 16th was Bump in the Night Farm by Praiseworthy Stitches. Mine is on 40 count Creek Stone by Silk Weaver. This is what it will look like when it's finished. This is what I have done so far. So this one will stay for this year and I will work on it in October. It will be my focus piece in October. was the other side okay that brings us down to this one may 17th taking it e c e dash s e a by silver creek samplers mine is on 32 count antique ivory belfast and i used two strands of floss it called for gentle arts and weak sty works over dyed cotton i used a few of the colors i had the rest i pulled from my stash to and chose colors that were very similar to what was called for. And it is finished. So we can take that one off. Next one for May 18th is Day and Night by Long Dog Samplers. That was a mania start in 2019. This is what it will look like when it is finished. Mine is on 40 count Picture This Plus Valor. It is a very light, a lighter gray green. It always shows up on camera as very gray, but it is a, gray, a green color. Excited to get back to that one. So that one will stay on right here. The next one on May 19th was Tomato Season by Not Forgotten Farms. Mine was on a 40 count piece of vanilla bean fabric by Tree of Life Linens. 
I used the called for colors, except I did switch out the reds. All of the reds in here I changed to something different. I changed to a different col red color range in DMC, and it's all DMC, except for this big tomato I changed to a Gloriana color, and those colors are listed in the description box below. That one was fun. So we can take that one off. And then the last one right here is Hoity Toity, H-O-I-T-Y, T-O-I-T-Y, by Long Dog Samplers. It is my focus piece this month in April. So it should get a lot more work on it this month before Mania starts. This is what it will look like when it is finished, sort of. I'm doing mine with a color pack conversion from Mrs. Seda Silks. And here's a tag. Mrs. Seda Silks. She has a store on Etsy. She dyes her own silks. So she did a color conversion for this pattern. You can buy it as a pack. And then I also made a few more changes. I added some reds. I took out the pink. It had this pink color in it. I took the pink out and added some reds because it didn't have any reds in it. Um, it's kind of an autumn color-ish. <laughs> and I added uh, two reds and an antique gold and a fawn brown that I substituted for a few of her colors, but mostly I'm using her colors. And there's a list of that in the description box below. And this is what I have so far. I'm trying to decide if I'm okay with this big, this orange color right here. I may take that orange out and switch it to a different color. But I think I'll stitch a little more and see what I think. This is on 40 count mallow linen, one strand of silk. Okay, so for Mania this year, 2021, I will redo it so that the days are on the right day of the month. I need to fix it for 2021. That is what the pieces that I will still be working on on those days. And then that's how many open slots I have for new starts for 2021. I did start a lot of new big projects during the pandemic because, you know, why not? So I tried to choose for my new starts this year for Mania. I tried to choose some that were on the smaller side that would be quicker to finish. And I think all of these that are still left on here, I think I will assign all of them a month this year so that they all get a focus month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I don't do a focus piece in May because of mania. So one more of my new starts probably I will assign to a month. And then these ones that are really tiny that I have a few that might be able to be done in a day or two. I will also assign those to a month. So there will be a new start because they're small and one of these old mania pieces that are still on the board assigned to each month, 11 months, because I don't assign anything in May. So there will be two, a big one and a little one assigned to each month as a focus piece for the next year to see if we can get some more progress on some of those bigger ones that are still on the mania board or the mania list. Okay, so I have pulled if I do 21 pieces this year because it's 2021, but I keep telling myself if I keep doing that, we're going to end up with 31 pieces eventually in 2031. So I'm trying to decide if I really want to add one every year to match the year or if I want to stay at 20 and just keep doing 20. I don't know. Haven't decided yet, but I have pulled. What did I just say? I had 10. So I have 10 or 11 slots for new starts. 
So I'll show you what I've pulled so far. This <laughs> pattern is by Wild Violet and it's called Floss Tube and Chill. It just makes me laugh. That's me. That's me every day stitching and watching floss tube. I haven't decided yet what fabric or what floss I'm going to do this on, but I am going to stitch it. And I do kind of want to put it in a little tart pan like that. Or maybe, I don't know. It depends on what count fabric I do it on, how big it is. If it was tiny enough, I could maybe do it as a pin. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still, still, uh, thinking on that one. This one is Happy by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I love the colors in this. And it makes me happy just looking at it. It's a beautiful pattern. It calls for some DMC and some Leaks Dye Works. These are two of the colors that are in it. It's going to be so pretty. I don't know yet what fabric, but I'm pretty sure it will be a white because I love those colors on that white background. So it'll be white something, probably 40 count. This is Still Life by the Prairie Schooler. I would like to do at least four of these pillows and hang them from a little uh, key rack with the four little pegs on it. I think they'd be cute hanging there. I haven't decided which four I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna do one of them for mania, as a mania start. Technically only one of them will count as a mania start so that when that one's finished, it's off the mania board. But I would like to eventually do four of them. And I haven't decided which one yet. I saw them, a few of them, maybe four, hanging like that from little key pegs in keepsakes in Cincinnati. Beautiful. And I'm going to do it on 18 count black Ada because when I have to stitch on black, Ada is the easiest for me to see. This is a all I have is the pattern. I don't have a picture to show you. I'll see if I can Google and find a picture of someone who stitched it so I can show you a finished pattern. <coughs> I was out <coughs> pruning the fruit trees today. And yes, I know you're supposed to prune fruit trees in the winter when they're dormant, like February, but I was out doing it today because I waited way too long. And now I either have um, debris in my lungs or I'm allergic to something out there, which is totally possible. This is a, um, it's a design that will fit the top of a Whitman sampler tin. And it was designed by Ellen Chester with my needle is her design name. And it's, um, when I originally joined the Swan Sampler Guild, this pattern was given to us. Ellen designed it for the Swan Sampler Guild. So it will say Swan Sampler Stitchers on the front and it has a little boat and a little house and a border around it. And then there's also a alphabet band that you stitch that goes around the inside edge right here. So I am, even though the Swan Sampler Guild has disbanded a couple of years ago, <laughs> I still wanna stitch that. I think it'll be so cute in the little tin, but I'll see if I can find a picture of someone who stitched it so you can see what it will look like. I did go to StitchCon in 2019 and they gave us this pattern of the logo. I'm gonna stitch it with white sulky thread on this beautiful red fabric. This is my white sulky, S-U-L-K-Y, it's cotton floss. It's a little bit thicker. It's one strand of this is the same thickness as using two strands of DMC. I think I'm going to make it into a little pillow. This 
This is a pattern by Heart and Hand called Gratitude. It was a little kit that comes with the fabric to finish it and the fabric to stitch it on. It just didn't, and the little um, beads that you need, but it did not come with the floss. But I have purchased the floss. And I'm ready to stitch it. I bought this at StitchCon in 2019. It does say it's a limited edition, so I don't know if it is still available. And I will make it into a pillow, just like the picture. And then my last one that I have pulled as a new start so far is Hands On Design, You Had Me at Flamingo. I have admired this ever since it came out. I love this pattern. I love the colors in it. I love the style of it. I think it's so beautiful. And I will make it into a pillow just like that. And I have the little flamingo pin to put in the pillow. So that will be fun. I'm going to stitch it on the called for fabric, which is the color linen. That's the color. It is linen, but it's also the color linen. And it is it is a beautiful off-white with just a hint of a peachy color to it. It is a gorgeous 40 count. No, I got 32 count because I wanted it to be the same size as this model. And I believe I have all the called for threads as well. I think I had to pull a brown from my stash, but I think the rest are the called for. Oh, and a few more I must have pulled out of my stash. I think that still leaves me a couple of holes, depending on whether I do 20 or 21. I'm still trying to decide what to fill those last hole or two with. Um, I have thought about putting some fully finishing in one of the slots to kind of motivate me to get some fully finishing done. I do have a piece, a couple of things where it's a set of smalls and all of it's done except for one little thing. So it would be a little bit of stitching and then fully finishing it would be part of the mania project. The, fin the fully finishing would be included in the mania plan. So I might put those in and I might wait and see if anything else this month jumps out at me as something I just, I, I didn't pick any a, a bigger piece and not I didn't have anything in there that was a bigger piece so if I see a bigger piece that I'm really excited about between now and May 1st I may choose that and start that we'll have to see I haven't decided yet so I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room between now and May 1st to change my mind or maybe add something else that I saw and was just so excited about so those are my plans for mania for 2021 Mania is just kind of a fun thing in the stitching world. Everyone does it a different way. It usually involves some kind of new start somewhere. Some people do a new start on the weekends and they work on their whips in between. Some people do 31 new starts. Some people do as many starts as they are old because their birthday's in that month. There's just lots of, or some people just choose all of their whips and work on a different whip every day. So a million different ways to do it. It's just a fun activity. You can do it any way you want. I hope you've enjoyed the, the 2021 Mania plans and the 2020 Mania report, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.